Hey guys, Dr. Lara here, as well as Wally. Wally wanted to sit down for the video because he's a good boy. Um, and so the, the topic of the video today is going to be ear packing and ear infections. And so Wally is uh, a dog who's been having chronic ear issues, chronic allergies. And so he has a combination of both food allergies and seasonal allergies. And this is something that a lot of times can manifest in a number of different ways. Wally's main symptoms are having major skin infections and ear infections. He doesn't always get them both at the same time, but when he does, he chooses, no. Um, he, so when he gets uh, ear infections, we have gotten to the point where we've tried multiple medications um, or ear medications. Those didn't seem to work. We did what was called a culture, uh, where we go ahead and we grow the bacteria that's in his ear or the yeast that's in his ear to see what kind of organism it actually is. Um, and then what we do is we try to figure out, don't get crazy. Um, we try to figure out which antibiotics they should respond to. Now, the issue is sometimes with these patients, um, the traditional medications, it only stays in the ear for a, like a day or two. Um, and it doesn't really take care of the organisms the way that it should if they're having, uh, if there's a special kind of organism that is resistant to the most common medications. As you can see, uh, Wally's allergies at work, so he's licking his feet, and that is something that he is well known for. He does have a history of wearing a cone a lot of the time to keep him from going at his feet. Um, and so, Wally, behave. You gotta leave your stuff alone, okay? Um, so now I'm gonna show you guys this ear packing stuff. I apologize. Um, this, um, it, what it is, is it's a combination of medications called chlorotrimazole, mupirocin, silver sulfadiazine, and triamcinolone. Now, these particular medications, um, you have some antifungals, you have some antibiotics, um, and then you also have an anti-inflammatory or a steroid. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this into each one of his ears. Um, and what we are going to do is we are going to uh, let this sit there. Um, this usually has to be packed when using this kind of stuff has to be packed at least every five days, um, sometimes every four days. It just depends on how bad the ears look and what the progression is. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put this in the right ear to start off with. Sometimes it can be a little bit uncomfortable. It's a small amount for a dog, but nonetheless, um, it's something that we try to go ahead and be as gentle as possible. So this is not something that you're usually gonna do at home. So what's gonna happen is um, we're gonna come over here and then I'm gonna come over here and let's see here. And we're gonna go ahead. Okay, there you go. And so we'll just kind of go ahead and massage that in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, take a look, measure. Let's leave the other uh, one for the Spanish channel. Perfect. All right. Abraham, always keeping me on point. Guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about this particular video, leave it in the comment box. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care and be safe.